Welcome back to AER Memories of Old. This is part 8 of my playthrough. Previously in episode 7 we opened a temple from here by activating this. And then the temple is just over there. <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't even get to read the text that was just on screen. That's fine. Anyways, uh... Ooh, this place looks... Nice and cold. Hold on. You mean down there or uh, right right in front of you? Because if right in front of you, you have a lantern. Alright, then I'm just going to ignore that. I can activate this, so I'm pretty sure I should. Oh, well now it's lit up. Maybe I should go back and uh, check the other thing. In the beginning, there was a dreamer, asleep in his cold eternity. She dreamed- oh. Asleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil behind the veil. She dreamed a creator and, uh, and the world, modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced into the world, and he, and he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps, and so made the lands of the north, west, the south, and the east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds. And the, from the earth and water, he made animals, so that land and sea would be alive. From stardust and eternity, he made gods, to walk the lands and to look after the world. Okay, that's very interesting, despite my terrible reading. Is it just me, or is this place darker than the previous room? Hmm. Hold on. So, I'm gonna say that th this isn't just like, I jump on all of these, I need to do a specific one. And, like, I'm making that assumption because there's a glowing one right there. So, I guess, right there? Oh, wait. Then is that... That has to be... Th there. No? Huh. Okay, well I think I just screwed something up already. Wait, no I didn't. Oh! Okay, so now that's open. So that's that probably means I should go in. been here before? Probably not. Oh. So that's shooting from there into there into here. So I presume activate this. And then I presume I activate that and, and whatnot. And then that will be finished? and it will unlock something? I make a lot of guesses and somehow they're typically quite accurate. Not always. That activates. And then I need to activate the last one which I can already see the distinct glow of the uh, plates. How do I get up there actually? Probably... 
Nah, that kind of worked, despite not probably not being the right way. Oh, now something over there is open. Can I jump through here? No? I don't think I've ever been in that room, so I'm gonna have to find that. Huh. Hold on a second. Does that imply... Here? Wait. That's... That one? And then just next to this? Oh! I don't know what's in there. No, it's definitely not somewhere I've been yet. Hmm. Appears we have a puzzle. Well, this kind of looks like the less fitting piece. So do I change this to match the other one? doesn't have one to match. Wait, unless that's... Unless I change this one? Okay, but that doesn't... Middle piece. Not quite. Got it. Oh wait, this was just the room I was in before. So I presume that means these doors are going to open up. Or uh, when I get there, I can open them. Okay, so I guess that was very important. Okay, so now we have a bridge up there. But now, how does that help me right now? It doesn't, but I guarantee that's going to be useful later. What I need to do now is figure out how to uh, get up there, maybe? Or otherwise get up to where I should be. I'm sure a few minutes of uh, mindless exploring is going to solve that issue. This seems like it would be the way to get up there. So this door is lit up now. That means... Ooh, big thing on the wall. When the creator made the first world, he woke the gods to, to care for it. First swam the watcher of the veil in the high skies. A mighty guardian against the black, cold, endless, forever singing soothing songs to the great dreamer. Lest she awaken from the dream of our world. Okay, so that doesn't help me at all at the moment but it's kind of interesting to read those. So could something all the way back here help me? Because I'm extraordinarily lost and confused and unaware of what I should be doing. Huh. 
Huh, back here. Did I check down here? I feel like I didn't. But at the same time, this looks so familiar. Well, no, I actually don't think I've been down here. Okay, so we have a hole in the floor. Another hole in the floor. <laughs> Not quite a hole in the floor. So is this any different from where I was a few minutes ago? Extremely different. That's good, I would presume. I haven't used this because I think this is very different from where I was. So this is useful. <laughs> of course it just opens this door that I thought I was so smart for finding uh, just, just minutes ago. Now I feel really dumb because I walked around this room several times and didn't see these. Well, now I feel less dumb because these don't quite go in there. Wait, I have been up here, haven't I? Wait. Oh no, I haven't. This is where the bridge opened. This is where I was trying to figure out how to go to, so I, at least I figured that one out. Better than I thought I'd do. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's what I activated earlier. So it goes to here. And then I activate this? Oh, and now this room is lit up. So this is a full temple of confusing puzzles that open rooms that you were already in minutes ago. This is the ending of the temple, isn't it? <laughs> I'm too concerned staring at that mouse. <laughs> Come close, little champion. I want to eat you. <laughs> I won't ruffle your feathers. I am the Watcher of the Veil. Vale. I guard this world from eternity. But I have spent many years trying to close the rifts that threaten this world. Now, without faith, without the faith of your kind, my powers are almost gone. There isn't much left of the first dream of the great dreamer, the dream that we call home. Did you know that the cre that the first dream brought forth the creator? His only weakness is it was his tender spot for your kind, little human. To create you, he linked his heart to yours, but your heart grew empty. Wow, that's kind of depressing. Shocked by the emptiness dwelling in, dwelling in himself. The creator ripped the void out of his heart. But time changes. Many things and a new little champion stands before me. A human one, even. Listen now, champion. These are my last words. He just goes on like this whole ramble about absolutely nothing relevant. He just starts like talking about like the most irrelevant uh, stuff and then he's like, Oh yeah, that reminds me. This is super important. And then he's just gone. Uh, this is the last fragment of the three Kara left in our care. There is only one step left now. Return the three fragments to the lighthouse in the very south, where, you'll, where your people have built a camp. It will show you what's next. It all rests upon your shoulders now, little champion. Okay, so he's gonna give me... So that's a third fragment piece. And I go to the lighthouse. Oh, he exploded. I'm kind of glad he got to tell me all that before then. I'm really glad he didn't start rambling about nonsense. <laughs> oh no, here he is. Oh, I can see more of him now than ever. Oh no, I don't like those hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like those hands. 
this this room is really really nice though like I love how the sky looks I can just sit here and stare at it for minutes and then get bored and then walk away <laughs> Once again, I like the way this place looks. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I'm out.